Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons, and in this video, I'm going to teach you a little more about task management in Trello. I've done a couple videos before on how you can use Trello for project management and how I use it to kind of manage my own tasks, my own personal task list. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Trello for task management on a small team, and uh, we'll show you a little bit about how that uh, can integrate into Basecamp. I've been using Basecamp now for uh, project management of specific projects and kind of using Trello as my general task manager and kind of list manager. Um, still still trying that out. Not sure if I'm going to st stick with that system or not, but it seems to be working. Seems to be working okay. So uh, I'm going to show you how uh, you can kind of uh, flip back and forth between Basecamp and Trello. And then if, if we have time, I'll show you a little Chrome plugin that uh, lets you delete all the cards in a list which is a related task that is somewhat irritating to, to do a Trello right out of the box. Hopefully they'll fix that at some point soon. So I've got my, my board here that I use to manage tasks for my small team uh, here at BKF Engineer, Engineering. Uh, depending on the week, uh, I might be managing as few as two people or as many as 10. So the way this board's set up, I've got these, there's kind of three general lists. So there's this work on the horizons list. This is just kind of a heads up to me to let me know what we've got coming so I don't forget about it. Uh, then there's a list here, tasks to assign, which I'll show you in a minute. And at the very end, uh, we have a list here called completed tasks. So those are the three, three kind of general lists. All the other lists here are assigned to, in, to individuals on the team. And so... As a general rule, uh, each team member gets three lists. So they get primary tasks, secondary tasks, and then tasks that are on hold. So you can see Hunter doesn't have that here. So we need to fix him up. So we'll say Hunter's. So he really needs two more lists. So let's go ahead and add those. Hunter's. Secondary tasks, and then hunters on hold tasks. So that's basically how the board's structured. Uh, every team member gets these three lists. And then uh, we go in and, ass and assign tasks and kind of move cards to those lists depending on where we're at. So I'm going to show you how, how you can integrate this in with, uh, with project management and base camp. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through Basecamp and we're going to add uh, we're going to add tasks to this list, and then uh, then what I do is I assign those. I usually do those. We have daily huddles in the morning at at uh, seven thirty, and uh, we meet every day and go over the tasks we have to complete, and uh, we make assignments. So like I'll pull cards off this list to the appropriate person. And then the nice thing about doing this in Trello is it's really dynamic, so it's easy to. You know, if we get new priorities, tasks can get moved to secondary or on hold, um, and you can uh, you can pretty easily move tasks between people too if you need to do that. Sometimes that's we don't like to do that, but that's part of life sometimes. All right, so let me uh, swap over to Basecamp here. So I'm in the Basecamp that I've created for my work here at BKF, and uh, you can see I've got a number of projects here, and so this is what I use to try and keep track of all the work related to a particular project. And I, I was doing that in Trello and it, it got a little unwieldy. It, it, this seemed like it was be a better system. So I still basically use Trello for everything that's not uh, specific to a particular project. These are billable projects. Um, everything else still goes in Trello, but there's just some things that happen on these billable projects that seem to fit a little bit better into the system that Basecamp has. You know, Basecamp, I don't think it, it's not a great tool for kind of general list keeping um, you know I use Trello for a bunch of different things like grab bags of stuff um, Basecamp's not great for that I'll just give you an example of what I'm talking about uh, so uh, if you come up here to my personal boards uh, you know I've got a stuff to get board you know that's uh, these are books that I want to get <laughs> um, let's see I got some other ones on here Hey, I think I have like a stuff to read board. Um, oh, it 
notes down here. So for example, uh, for my little side hustle, Redefine Horizons, we set up a learning board, learning library. And so these are just list business, human resources, marketing, surveying, land use planning, land title. And we just drag uh, articles here or, you know, book chapters or videos uh, so that when people have time for training, they can come in here. So it's just kind of a, it's like a bucket. Uh, so Basecamp's not real good at this sort of thing. Uh, Basecamp is more, definitely more project specific. So works great for what it's built for. It's less of a general purpose tool like Trello. All right, so if you come into Basecamp, uh, what I want to do is, is I want to go through each of these projects. We're not going to do all of them. I'm only going to show you a couple, but I like to come in here. On, it's usually on Sundays uh, when I have some quiet time. I come into my projects, and I just what it, this allows me to do is just th kind of think about each project specifically. What's the current status? What do we have left to do? So on this particular job, we're, we're working on a land development project over in Sunnyvale. So I have some stuff to wrap up. Uh, stuff that should be done or is very close to done, and I want to get it finished. Uh, so we've got some drafting of some topo. We got some land title survey sheets that that need to get drafted. Oop. Let me just edit that real quick. Um, we've got some table A item notes that need to get done on that survey that should be almost in the done. I should be almost done. Then I have what's what's called my in the hopper list. Uh, so this is the stuff that comes next. You know, I want to get wrap it up done first, but um, you can see we've we've checked some stuff off from the hopper. But uh, I need to have somebody review the topo mapping and surface utility mapping, and we need to get through the title report analysis sheet. So those are the next two things that need to get done. Uh, we just got the title report on this. So this really couldn't be done yet, uh, but we can do it now. And then uh, occasionally I will add lists that are specific to a certain element or aspect of the project. So for example, this is easement mapping, and these are the things that we need to do for easement mapping. One of those is in the in the hopper. I generally don't duplicate tasks, but um, uh, that that's in there. And actually, this uh, this needs to come down, and uh, this needs to come up. So it's really easy to drag stuff in between lists there. So this is this is kind of the typical structure I have uh, that I've been using in Basecamp, right? Like in the hopper, wrap it up, and then uh, specific kind of lists specific to a, to a larger task. So what I want to do here is I, is I want to add these items to my list of stuff to do in Trello so that when I have my team meeting on Monday, uh, I'll know uh, what work needs to get done, kind of what our priorities are, and uh, what work is available to be assigned. So I'm going to come back in here if I can find my list. There it is. All right, so I've got a, a few things here uh, that I'm going to add, and I generally do the job number first. Uh, and then I'll put the task in. So I'm just reading my from my wrap it up here list. Um, so we need to form drafting of the land title perimeter topo and surface utility topo so we need to do that and we need to complete drafting of the land title survey sheets and then we need to Complete the table A item notes. So those are the, the things that are in the wrap it up list. And then I'm going to go down and add the other couple that are in my in the hopper list. So we need to review strip topo mapping and surface utility mapping. And we need to complete the whoop, preliminary land title report analysis sheet. Okay, and then I just, I thought of one that I didn't have in there that needs to get done. Actually, we'll wait. 
Okay, now the other thing that's useful on these um, is you can come in here and usually in the description, um, it's nice to put the, put the available hours or estimated hours. So how long do I think it should take somebody to do this? And I've got another system I haven't showed you guys yet. It's a little tag system uh, that I've been using that to help people understand how many hours we've got budgeted for a task. So I'm going to go in here and just add those. So that when I do my tags, it's it's fairly easy to add them, add the hours because they'll they'll already be here. And that helps us stay on budget. Okay, so now I've added those tasks. And they can be assigned if I need to. Now I'm going to go over to Basecamp. I'm going to show you an example of one more project, and we'll add those. Okay, so back on my Basecamp board, and uh, I'm going to grab this other project that we have. So this is a development I'm doing in Oakland. Come in here to the to do's you can see this is set up a little bit different um, but I have this uh, we're, we're going back out to do some supplemental topo they removed a gas tank from the site and uh, did some paving and some other cleanup so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create an in the hopper list for this because uh, this project was kind of retired and then uh, it's coming back to life so now I'm going to just go ahead and say hey from that supplemental topo the the thing I need to immediately get done is I need to prepare the field package. Um, we're getting out to the site uh, next week, but it's going to be the end of next week, so I probably won't won't have to worry about this to the following week. So I'm not going to I'm not going to drag it up. You can see we've got a couple of these things done in the cleanup too. So uh, I want to go ahead and add this to my task to assign. So we'll go ahead and. Add that. It's got a different different job number, and we're gonna say prepare fuel package for gas tank removal supplemental topo, and then we want to uh, put in how many hours we think this is gonna take. Okay, so we've got these tasks to assign now, and I can drag them over. So. Julian's been the guy working on this job primarily, so he's going to get this. Uh, he's going to get this task now. This is I know this is uh, somewhat, to some extent, this is filler work. So I'm going to pull this over, and this one right here we finished this last week, so this board's a little out of date. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to the completed task list, and so now I know. Hey, Julian ought to be working this, on this in the morning. He's only got two hours worth of work, so I need to remember that, and I've got some other stuff that uh, that he's going to be working on. And then uh, these other tasks, now I know I can pull this over. I don't have to necessarily wait for that Monday meeting. I know Matt's going to need work, so I'm going to go ahead. This is Matt's project. So I'm going to go ahead and assign these to Matt. Uh, we're going to put these on his primary task list. And my, my team can get in and access this Trello board at any time, so if for some reason I'm not here, um, they'll be able to get in and grab this, see what they got going on. Uh, let's see. I actually Matt did this work, so I don't want him to do the review. So we're gonna we're gonna give this to Julian too. And then this this is gonna be Matt's. It's gonna be Matt's too. Okay. So drop tasks on here, then they get moved to the appropriate team member as needed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this because this project got yanked. Uh, it went to another team, so I don't have to worry about this one anymore. Uh, but I know I've got some other work coming up. So I'm going to just add that so I don't forget. Uh, so we've got... Uh, we've got a supplemental topo to do out here in Sunnyvale on this job.
So that's how this board basically works. So I keep these two lists in the front. This is stuff I've got coming up. Uh, and these are these are broad groups of tasks or jobs. Uh, these are individual tasks that need to get assigned, and then each member on the team gets three lists. Their primary tasks, secondary stuff, and stuff that's on hold. And then as we finish stuff, uh, it comes over here and gets dumped on the completed task list. And then uh, I'll do another video that uh, shows you a little hack that uh, you can use to delete this. So that's currently how I'm using uh, Trello and Basecamp to work together. So I'm kind of keeping the, the global list of tasks for a project is going on Basecamp. And then as we work through stuff, um, you know, the immediate needs are coming out of the hopper or the, the wrap-up list and going on to this Trello board. So uh, we're, this Trello board is not getting crazy. Uh, generally, this board only has the tasks that I think we can get done and the team can get done in the next week or two weeks at the most. So I hope that was helpful, guys. And uh, we'll, we'll do another video or two on, on Trello, and I hope to do some more videos on Basecamp as well. Thanks for watching.